follow the light of Christ. So I preach today that, that, that we need the light of God to rescue us from the darkness that has infiltrated our hearts, infiltrated our nation, infiltrated into the church. And don't be surprised by that. And what about all, all, not all ladies are the blessed all the church. And the church teaches that the greatest enemies of the church are those within. From within, from within, it starts. Jesus was betrayed from within by Judas. He was born in heaven from within heaven by Satan and his angel. From within, so let us ask God to dispel the darkness. Our recognition of the power of the light of the Lord testifies that his light is stronger and brighter and lasts longer than any other lights. Amen. All other lights are false or inadequate. Dominical Light Company, St. Trisha Light Company, St. Basin Light Company, Grenada Light Company, Straight Time Light Company can only give light to a certain degree. They can only give light to a certain degree. And when they turn it off, there, there is darkness. That is limited light. But even spirits from hell also give light. Even spirits from hell also give light. And the Bible says, if it were possible, they will be deceived, they will deceive even the elect of God, if it were possible. That's 2 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 14. Satan changes himself into an angel of light to deceive. But we ask him for the light of grace, the light of God to be upon us. The light of the Lord never fades. The light of God never fails. The light of God shines forever because he is the light of the world. Hallelujah. And he lives and shines forever. His brightness never dims. Although today there is darkness in many lives and institutions and nations due to the evil actions and wrong choices of many people, there is still the light of the Lord shining in many hearts. The light of the Lord that is shining in your heart and mind and in many other faithful holy hearts. That is what is sustaining the world today. So we are electric bulbs from heaven. We are power sources from heaven. Church, let us keep connected to the light of grace. Say that expose our light. So when we say, Lord, let your light shine upon us, or face, shed his light upon us, we are exposing ourselves to God. He says, Lord, look me, search me, use me, and any darkness remove and just shine. Let me be a constant light. Not like Dom, not like Grand, not like St. Christian Light, but let it be a light that shines constantly, not like a lamp that has gone off and down. But the light of grace, the light of joy, the light of power, the light of hope, the light of faith, the light of holiness, the light of truth, the light of the knowledge of the word of God, that's what we want. Let it shine upon us. God takes his light. We are free. So, Lord, the Lord has a light, as I am, that destroys the darkness of coronavirus. The light of the Lord destroys the darkness of cancer. The light of the Lord dispels the darkness of age and evil, and it dispels the despair of hopelessness. It dispels the despair of faithlessness, and it penetrates our inner being with a warmth that only God can supply and for which there is no substitute. You have a church. There's no substitute for the light of grace. People have gone on this case, everybody says I'm enlightened. Enlightenment have gone on the truth. And they don't realize that one deeper into darkness. And Jesus says, if the light in you is darkness, what darkness there is. But we don't want that kind of light. We want the true authentic light from heaven. The light of grace, the light of God, because God is the source of all light. Without God, there is darkness. May we surrender to that light. And we say, Lord, let your face shine on us, and we shall be saved. Amen. Praise the Lord. Let's just pray that some anointing fall on us. Everybody, let's just stand. Jesus, welcome again, the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is here. We just want to pray for the Lord. Amen.
away. Away, my people. I say to you, away. Rise. Rise and shine. But for my face, my light is upon you. Rise and shine and know that I am here. I'm walking in your streets. I'm in your home. And in your neighborhood, I am there. Why are you responding? Rise, I say to you, rise. I am good news and I'm in your midst. Rise, I say. The power of my spirit is at work. Don't you see? Can't you discern? Can't you discern what I'm doing in your midst? Amidst the darkness, I am shining. Amidst the darkness, I am there. And I'm saying to you, I want that you return for you. I want you to rise and shine and take what I have in store for you. But you may not see because you are blinded. You are blinded by your individual difficulties and challenges. You are blinded by the turmoil towards you. Oh, your attention is not on me. And you see the result. You see the result in your own life. You see the result in your communities. You see the result in your islands. Because your eyes are not fixed on me. Fix your gaze upon me. I work in the lives of so many. They who have gone before you. I work in their eyes. And I am prepared to work in your life. But come back to me. Come back to me, I say to you, and keep your gaze upon me. Despite the darkness, I am shining in your heart. I am shining in your gaze. I say to you, rise, 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 for your God is in your midst. We seek the Lord. The Lord hears our prayers. He lives in our praises. As we continue to speak of the Lord, a few sisters and brothers will come to help us as one group as we join in the Caribbean to plead to the Lord, as we place our intentions before the Lord who says to us to rise. He's listening to us. And so we turn to him in prayer. And so those who have to leave this session of inter intercessory prayer, come forward. The Lord is here. He's listening to us. He knows our heart. He knows our needs. And he asks us to let it go. Let it go to him. Father, we mercy and compassion. We give you praise and we thank you. Father God, we come to pray in the words of God, your words to be on the front of that you will make sure. Father God, we come before you, O Lord, in this intercession for your children, O Lord, and the children that are sick, Eva Melissa, Edmonton, St. Jameson, Grenada, Trinidad, and the whole house of Father God. God, your word says that by your stripes we are healed. And so, oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ, the of the Holy Spirit, we ask you, oh God, that we touch the way that we have our strength, oh God. For we pray, oh God, that as we have seen that we have trusted, oh God, there is not this fear. There is not this despondence, oh God. We continue to hope, oh God. We continue to trust you. We realize, oh God, that you form them in the mother, so you know them through and through, oh God. And we thank you, oh God, for trusting your feet, oh God. For your hand is not shut, oh God. That you cannot trust the way by the hour. But I have to break the people of God's hands, God. And we thank you, oh God. Your word is that anything shall happen, oh God. We are more than trying to ask you. Your word is that as it shall be done, God. And we are ready to be praised, oh God, for touching them. Let your flesh shine upon us, them, oh God, and they shall be healed. We thank you, oh God, for touching. We thank you for healing. We thank you for delivering. And we pray, oh God, that in their trusting, they will give it up in our promise. Just one thing, no matter. For this, we pray. Lord, hear us. 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 Lord
para lift up the new team, we're going to move forward on this team for the youth of the entire Caribbean. But the president of Jamaica made that presentation. The beauty of health is that you're new, Lord. Remind them that the presence is in their life. Help them to rely on the Holy Spirit for guidance and direction. Control in their hearts, Lord. You are the Father, and I on them, the unending Lord. Loving Lord, talk in their hearts so that your seed, when planted, will grow and flourish. Reveal your calling in your life and give them the courage to obey. Continue to put people in your life that will speak life into the situation and point them to your hope in that own option. Mighty Father, help them to act in ways that will point directly to you, so that people will see them in you and give them the courage to be that positive influence in the lives of their parents. Lord, as many of them are prepared for exams right now, even during this pandemic, help them to recall what they have learned so that it can be applied to them. When them trying to have thoughts and times of spirit, Lord, hear us. We pray for the Catholic Church throughout the Caribbean. God of mercy and compassion, your way and many people be our one body in Christ. We humbly come before your throne of grace and seek your face. Lord, we need you. We want to hear from you. Forgive our sins and heal our land. Bring upon us a fresh anointing of your Holy Spirit. Give us a new rebirth. Fill us with the fire of passion. May we, the people of the Caribbean, become passionate about God's care. Enter into our hearts and may we find love, joy, peace, hope, and guidance in a world of Give the people of St. Vincent still affected by the corruption of monster prayer, get your heart. Grant health and strength to the countries affected by the COVID 19 pandemic. Be our protection and refuge as the hurricane season God's name. Bless our churches, Lord, and our nation, and our people. Grant us unity and strength as a people as we come together to praise you, to serve you, to love you. Lord, tomorrow we will gather as one on the feast of Pentecost. The same thing that you did many years ago, Lord, you can do today. And so, Lord, we pray, oh God, that your anointing is upon us, that your spirit is in our churches, that you will be back. So that as a church of the Lord, we will be powerful to help you. Who you go beyond the God of the Father God, we bring the point for nation in the time. We pray for all presidents, Lord. That in our to make decisions, Lord God, we pray that there is a compromise of the Christian principles and values, Lord. Father, we are a Christian nation and we pray that you will be the head of our nation, Lord God. And so, Father, we ask you to guide us with wisdom, understanding, discernment, Lord God. We pray for all the prime ministers, Lord God. We pray, Lord God, as we take funds, Lord God, that they will be used effectively. All that the state fund will be used, Lord God, appropriately, Lord God. Father, we pray for the opposition leaders throughout, Lord God. 
Father, bless them. Give me opposition, Lord God. There's work that they cannot do. Father, open their eyes so they will see what needs to be done. Give me opposition, Lord God. Father God, we pray for your kindness and the good in front of this Jesus. We pray that you may protect us from all natural disasters. We pray in particular for St. Vincent, Lord God. We know that many residents have been displaced, Lord God. But Father God, you are the God of living in peace, Lord God. And so Father, we pray that you may continue to provide this, Lord God. Father, let them have their peace knowing that you go before them. Shine your eyes, shine your face upon them, Lord God, that they may know that truly you are God and you are right in them. Father God, we pray also for the people in the name of God. Father, we pray for those who are being afflicted, Lord God. For Father, where there is no hope, Lord God, we know that you are hope. Father, that they may look to you for you to do. That they will turn back to you, Lord God. Father, for you said in your word, should we leave your fall, then we We give you praise and we give you thanks. As we pray for our families in the region of the Lord, we cover them in each and every one of our families with your precious blood. We send healing and restoration to their institutional knowledge. Father, we ask you to bless our families with your precious blood. We ask you to grant us that your love and protect us from harm. We ask you, oh God, to give us the grace to forgive, strength to overcome the difficulties and challenges that we continue to face as a family and keep us together. Lord, we pray that we will not become despondent, but rather we will turn to you, oh God, the Father who gave us his peace, Lord. We pray, oh God, that we will find a refuge in you, that we will be able to stay together as a family, united in love. Lord, we come against all the obstacles. We come against all the challenges and the difficulties. Because we know, oh Lord, that you never leave us nor forsake us. We pray, oh God, when we stay to be overwhelmed by challenges within our families. We may not become despondent, Lord, but that we will cry out to you, for we know that you will hear our prayer and answer. Father, give us that grace to just continue to trust you, that we will open our spiritual eyes, O oh God, and look to you. Father, we pray that even when negative influence come against the family, O oh God, we pray, Lord, that we will look to you and remain united. United with each other, O oh God, as we come against the plans of the enemy within the families of God to be efficient. We know, God, that you are a God of peace. You are a God of love. You are a God of unity, O oh God. And once we come to you, Lord God, with that faith, that hope, and that trust, we know that we will be successful. We know that our families will remain together. For no weapon that is formed against our families is going to prosper in the name of Jesus Christ. So, Lord, we just give you all the glory, all the praise, all the thanks, as we know that you are looking after every member of our families in the region. Father, we will not be daunted by any circumstance because we know that you are all powerful. And you will give us that peace that we need to continue to be united as a family. We pray to the Lord. Thank you.
Father, we give you thanks and praise. Whatever we have achieved here this evening, it is all to your glory, and Lord. We thank you, Lord God, for everything, for those who are present, for those who have been looking at us, those who have been joined, who have joined us via the platforms. Father, thank you for this grace of freedom of worship Amen. and the faith to come just to say thank you. And so, Lord God, we give you praise. You, and Father God, in the name of Jesus, we do declare that you are the light of the world. And Lord, only do we declare, but Lord, we seek to live that way accordingly. Lord, we do declare and we accept that you have allowed your face to shine upon us tonight. And so tonight, Lord, we will radiate your presence, radiate your light. And there is no decline of our parish or nation wherever we go. Lord, we do declare that you have heard us completely, and you have answered us, and if not answering us, it's to the fullest. Nothing short of your glory and mercy. We thank you, oh God, that your light once again, as your people come back to you, will shine upon the nations. So, oh God, we ask that you cover everyone here with your generous mercy. Let your light shine upon every face this evening. Remove darkness, the darkness of sadness, the darkness of hopelessness, oh God, let your presence dwell upon you. We thank you and we give you all the glory and honor in Jesus' precious name. The Lord be with you. Bow your heads for the blessing. But him as good Catholics, I want us to pray three Hail Marys, one in honor of the Father, one in honor of the Son, and one in honor of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary. Holy Mary. Praise God. Now and I. In honor of the Son. Hail Mary, full of grace. Blessed are thou, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at our hour. In honor of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with me. Blessed are thou, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Now and at the hour of our death. And the prayer to come and pray and talk to us by Jesus. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. May the Lord bless you and keep you always. Amen. Come on, let me hear Amen. May the Lord bless you and keep you always. Amen. How is it? May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. Amen. May the Lord look down upon you with his confidence and grant you peace. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father. The Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. This blessing extends to brothers and sisters in St. Vincent, in Grenada, in Trinidad, and in St. Lucia. Let us have what you can give on the final song. Praise God. Praise God. Amen. Thank you, Lord. The Lord is here. Amen. The evidence is all around tonight. Yet the anointing of Jesus is in this place. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Oh,
Catholic Charismatic Renewal Leader, Patilia Jabatis, coordinators, leaders, clergy, religious, brothers and sisters, good evening. I bring greetings from the beautiful Twin Island Republic of Trinidad and Tobago, southernmost country in the West Indies, called Rainbow Country, or Kalalu, my sister in Christ, Tracy Clark, and I, Claire Julian Charles, are here with you for one hour. We want to take hold of the Lord of hosts and say to him in his own words, Lord of hosts, save us, we implore thee. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. And truly, he is the Lord of hosts. Hallelujah. We are thankful to be here on this platform with you. So even as we continue to call for the Spirit of God, the promise of the Father, we come knowing that his promises are sure. They are true. Thank you, Lord. Psalm chapter 2, verse 8 tells us, Ask of me, and I will give you the nations as an inheritance for you, and the earth as a possession. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. You said, Ask and you shall receive whatever you need. You said, pray and I'll hear from heaven and I'll heal your land. You said, your glory. 
Come and fill up hearts. Come and fill up minds. Come and fill up love. We'll be welcome you. Sweet Holy Spirit, come. So right where you are, continue to welcome the Spirit of God. The Spirit gives life. We are thankful for this life that we have here this evening, celebrating all through the islands. We thank you for your promise of the Holy Spirit, oh Father. We thank you. We are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people. Oh, 
my soul. I want to revive in my soul. I must supply through the blood of Jesus. Send a revival in my soul. I must apply through the blood of Jesus. Send a revival. us because you are the Lord of hosts. The heavens declare that you are. The heavens declare your authority. The heavens declare that you are the Lord of hosts. Hallelujah to your name. Oh, bless the name of the Lord. Oh, you are simply adorable tonight, oh God. You are worship itself. You are true worship, oh God. We bow in adoration before you. We extend ourselves unto you. For you are the good Lord. You are, you are the creator. And all things were created by you. Oh, we bless you that you remember us. That you remember who we were. And you sent your son Jesus, the only son that you had. And so we cry out to the angel, Holy, holy, holy Lord of God. Heaven, God, the full of your glory. Hallelujah to you, Jesus. Hallelujah. You are the resurrection. You are the ascension. You are the one that looked back. And you saw us like lost sheep. Instead of lost the Father. And he will send the comforter, the Holy Spirit, to lead us in our all truth. And this is the time. This is the time. This is the Holy Spirit revival in us today and how we worship at your feet how we worship at your feet Lord, oh, you are you are the lamb the lamb of God the lamb that appeared to be dead but is alive who will open the scroll for us the lamb of God there is the lamb of God worship the Lamb on the truth. Victory and power and glory and dominion to him. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the Lord. Come, Holy Spirit, fall on me now. I need your anointing to come in your power. I love you, Holy Spirit, you captivate my soul. And every day I grow to love you more. Come, Holy Spirit. Come, Holy Spirit, hold on me now. I need your anointing, come in your power. Oh, I love you, Holy Spirit, captivating my soul, and every day I grow to love you more. I'm reaching for your heart, you hold my life in your hands, drawing me closer to you, I feel your power in you. I worship you, Spirit, and be true. Come, Holy Spirit, hold on. 
word to you time and time again. These are my people. These are the islands I want to dwell in. Or today that you have taken my words, you have heeded unto my cry. I have called, I have said in so many words and so many ways, but alas, you have 
answered to my call. Alas, you have seen the moment. I am, I am the Lord. I am the Lord. I have chosen my dwelling place among you. I say to you, I take you by the hand. I say to you, you are my people called by my name. My love dwell with you. Be with me and give unto me the worship that I need. And I am the Lord. I am the Lord, the Lord of hosts, the Lord who created, and they were created. Today, I am dwelling in your presence. Today, I am pleased. Today, I hold you even closer to me and rock you as a mother rocking a child at the breast. See, do not be afraid. I am with you, says the Lord. I speak to God. Hallelujah. We open this connecting line for others who have heard a word. And we ask, step out at this moment. For in these islands, the Lord is pleased and he wants to bless through the enabling power of the Holy Spirit. You are asked to raise your hand if there is a word that you wish to give and you will be unmuted. Praise God. Today we are in the presence of all the islands and the Lord of hosts declares in Psalm 80, 19, Lord of hosts, bring us back. Let your face shine on us and we shall be saved. Amen. We declare it. Hallelujah. Over the islands. Praise we Lord. declare it in Dominica. Lord of hosts, bring us back. Let your face shine on us and we shall be saved. In Grenada, Lord of hosts, bring us back. Let your face shine on us and we shall be saved. In St. Lucia, Lord of hosts, bring us back. Let your face shine on us and we shall be saved. St. Vincent and the Grenadines, Lord of hosts, bring us back. Let your face shine on us and we shall be saved. In Trinidad and Tobago, the Lord says in Psalm 80 verse 19, Lord of hosts, bring us back. Let your face shine on us and we shall be saved. Hallelujah. 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 This evening we count it a privilege to be on this platform. My sister, Tracy Clark, and I, Claire Julian Charles. As we take up the petitions in this time, the anxieties of the pandemic, and we take, we take it under the team, Lord of hosts, save us, we implore you. We ask you that anywhere that you sit right now, stand right now, 
continue to come and agree with us and stand with us as we lift up these petitions before the Lord of hosts. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And after each intention, we will have the refrain, Lord of hosts, bring us back. Let your face shine on us and we shall be saved. And we shall be saved, Lord of hosts, bring us back, let your face shine on us, and we shall be saved. Hallelujah. Father, today we bring to you, in this pandemic, all essential jobs. We bring, Lord, every person leaving their homes to go out, Lord, to make this time to take care of the sick, to see after the security, to have, Lord, everything in government offices and every other place of employment intact so that your people will have, Lord, another day Another day, O oh Father, to eat, to take care of, that every job that is there, Lord, we pray by your will that you will cover them, you will clothe them, that you will let your face shine upon them, that you, O oh Father, through the blood of Jesus, that you will cover them, cover them, secure them, keep them, Keep them in your pocket. Keep them in your shade. As they risk their lives to go out, to do what is essential in the nations of the world. And by extension in the Caribbean, Lord of hosts, we implore you, take care of your people. Take care of them in this pandemic. Take care of them that they will know that you are the Lord of hosts and that you are there to save them. We implore you today. Lord of hosts, bring us back. Let your face shine on us and we shall be saved. Lord of hosts, we bring to you leaders in the home in this pandemic. Mayhem and outcry are facing homes. We do not know some days what to do. But we ask you to save us, we implore you. Let your face shine on us, Lord of hosts. We implore you to come to our homes to show us how to live as leaders in our homes, what to do, what to say. In all that we face, the most crucial moments, when we are locked down, when we have too many feet in the house, people that we do not see during the day, we do not know how to live with them, the anxieties that we face each day in the home because of this pandemic. We cry out to you today. We cry out and we ask for homes in the nations. We ask for homes in the Caribbean. Lord of hosts, save us. We implore you. Bring us back. Let your face shine on us. And we shall be saved. Lord of hosts, save us, we implore you. As we bring those who are losing hope, 
those who have lost hope, those who are just holding on by a string, wondering what is happening, where are we going, what will happen. Lord of hosts, save us, we implore you. Give us again the hope that you had when you created the earth. Lord of hosts, save us, we implore you. We make it a mantra to you to save us, save us, we implore you, Lord of hosts. See our hearts losing, losing the understanding. Sometimes we are wondering, are you there? Are you still listening? We are losing hope in this time. We are losing hope in this time. I don't know have already lost it. Lord of hosts, save them, we implore you. Save us, we implore you. Lord of hosts, bring us back. Let your face shine on us and we shall be saved. We cry out to you, Lord of hosts. Save us, we implore you. There is no other that we can go to as we bring to you those in mourning, those who face death, those who are dying in this moment because of COVID-19. Come to us, Lord of hosts. Come to families who are mourning whole households of death. Come, Lord of hosts, those who have not been able to give to their loved ones a decent burial. Those who have not even experienced the Maccabees, who knew what the body would be in death. Lord of hosts, save us, we implore you. Our bodies are wrecked. Our mind, our loved ones, born from us. Homes in mourning, families. Lord of hosts, save us, we implore you. Lord of hosts, we cry out. We cry out to you. As we petition you to save us, we implore you. We bring the elderly to you. We bring the lonely to you in this pandemic. We cry out for them. We cry out for their days of not understanding what would be next. The loneliness of not seeing the next of kin. The loneliness of not touching a child. The loneliness of not being able to hug one another. Or this pandemic. Or the anxieties of this pandemic. Has stricken the nations. Has brought loneliness has brought the elderly to be lonely and destitute. Lord of hosts, save us, we implore you. Lord of hosts, bring us back. Let your face shine on us. We shall be saved. Lord of hosts, we will not forget our leaders in this time, who also are stricken, wondering how to lead, wondering what to do, what is the best bargaining in this season. 
They too are in panic with this pandemic. Lord of hosts, you created leaders for a time like now. And we call out to you, Lord of hosts. We implore you that leaders will bend their air towards you and bend their knees in your presence and call out to you, Lord of hosts. Call out to you in the islands. Call out to you in the nations. Call out to you in this economic stream. Call out to you, Lord of hosts, we implore you. Save us, we implore you. Amen. Lord of hosts, bring us back. Let your face shine on us. We shall be saved and saved. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah, Lord. We bow down. Hallelujah to these islands. Hallelujah to the air in these islands to hear the Lord. The Lord of hosts. Who will turn up, bring us back, and who will let his face shine on us so that we shall be saved. And even in this moment, we stretch our hands across the islands of the Caribbean. And we say to you, COVID-19, you are not God's will for these lands. You are not God's will for the world. We implore the Lord today to come and save us and bring you in your terrible deeds to the human man down to your face. Declare that this coronavirus, COVID-19, is under Christ's feet, under the feet of Jesus, that the nails on the cross has pierced with the nothingness. Corona virus, COVID-19. We say that you will not take the lives of men. You are crushed right now under the blood of Jesus, under the cross of Jesus, and in the name of Jesus. And even as we look at all of our beautiful islands and our people praying and standing in agreement at this time, we know too, we know that even as we face our most deadliest moment in the Twin Island Republic of Trinidad and Tobago, we know that this virus is under the feet of Jesus. And Jesus Christ is in charge. And he will not turn his face, but the Lord of hosts will shine on us again, and we shall be saved. Amen? Amen. 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 Hallelujah. We have ten today, and we would like to come in thanksgiving. Believe in and whatever we ask for, agreeing it shall be done. Matthew 18, 19. For wherever you agree on anything at all that they ask in prayer, it shall be done by my heavenly Father. And we give thanks at this moment. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for your goodness. For your kindness towards us, Lord. Lord, did you mark our transgressions? Who will stand? Who can stand, Lord God? Thanks to your grace, Lord, we can still come.
Thank you for your grace that we can approach you, that we have, Lord, free access through the person of your son, Jesus Christ. We thank you, Lord. You are eternally good towards us. May thanksgiving always be in our hearts, Lord. May we give thanks in everything, in good times and bad times, Lord. Oh, she, we bless your name. I love you, Lord, for your mercy never fails me. All my days I've been held in your hands. Knowing that I wake up till I lay my head, I will sing of the good Oh, Lord. Let's sing that together. I love you, Lord. For your mercy never fails me. All my days I've been held in your hands. From the moment that I wake up until I lay my head, oh, I will sing. Of the goodness of God. So all my life you have been faithful. And all my life you have been so, so good. Every breath that I am made I will sing of the goodness. running after the nations of the world, the nations of the Caribbean. Your goodness, oh God, is running after. At this time, we want to close in prayer as we come just five minutes to eight o'clock. 1 Timothy 2, 1 says, I urge that petitions, prayers, intercessions, and thanksgiving be offered for all. And today, we want to thank you, oh God, for this networking that you have done in this chain of islands. That you have done it, oh Father, out of pure love for us. You have done it because of love. And therefore, Lord, 
in every island, we bring to you today our leaders, that they will lead the land aright, that they will not fear for what is in the dark, but that they will look upon your face and their faces shall shine again. And that they will know that you, O oh God of hosts, live in these islands. Lord of hosts, we pray for the islands of the Caribbean. We pray for all the islands in the Caribbean Sea and in the Atlantic Ocean. We pray as far as our eyes can see right now. We pray in our own islands. And as we pray, we are encouraged to call certain parts of our islands before the Lord. I call today, Lord, Toko, Blanchichez, Guayaguayari, Mayaro, Maruga, Port of Spain, San Fernando, Dego Martin, Chaguanas, Chagaramas, Point Fortin, Erin. Lord, I call all of these in your presence. And by extension, as I pray, praying for my own country, as Daniel did, and praying for the forgiveness and for the repentance of our, our people, that you will let your face shine on us right now, and that you will see our numbers at our last toll, 700, and all the deaths, and all who are facing death tonight, and that, Lord, we pray today that you will have compassion on your people and heal your sick. As we continue to pray for the chain of islands and for all in St. Vincent and the Grenadines, in Grenada and all their dependencies, in St. Lucia, in Dominica, Trinidad and Tobago. Lord, we are blessing even now and we are thanking you even now for saving us and for keeping us. And even as we leave this platform right now, we want to thank you again and again. Lord, we want to bow you, in your presence. Thank you, Lord. We want to bow because, Lord, you, Lord, you know the reason for our bowing. Thank you, Lord. And we shall not be afraid, O oh God, for the terror by night. We shall not be afraid. But we will continue, Lord, to mark our homes with the lintel of the blood of Christ. So that when that angel passes, it will pass over. You will become our Passover. You, O oh Lord of hosts, will become our Passover, our sacrifice. We make this prayer in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. 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 We want to thank St. Lucia for the invitation for this weekend of prayer for the answering to the call. We want to thank you that you remembered us and that you put out a line that we can hold. We thank you and we bless you and we bless all the islands represented here and all who are looking on and all the islands and the nations of the world. Amen. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Jesus Christ is Lord.
the glory of God the Father. Jesus Christ is Lord. The glory of God the Father. Jesus Christ is Lord. The glory of God the Father. Yes, amen. And we really want to thank Dominica and Trinidad and Tobago for leading us to worship, to adore our God of hosts as he continues to save us. And we continue to pray, implore to him, God of hosts, save us. God of hosts, save us. Amen. So we thank those of you who are here with us physically and all those who are able to join us virtually. May God continue to bless you and to keep you. We continue our journey to Pentecost as we worship in our different parishes. And for those of us in St. Lucia, we meet at Good Shepherd Parish, Babono at 3 p.m., where we'll culminate and we wait for the Holy Spirit to explode within us, in our lives, in our families, in our parishes, and in our nations. Amen? Amen. Amen. So get home safely, brothers and sisters, and we thank you again. See you tomorrow, God willing, as we acclaim Jesus as King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Amen. He is a king of kings. He is the Lord of lords. His name is Jesus, 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 Jesus. Oh, he is the king. He is the king of. He is the Lord. He is the Lord of lords. What's his name? Jesus, 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 Jesus. Oh, he is the king. Lift Jesus higher, a little higher. Lift him up for the world to see. He said, if I be lifted up from the earth, I will draw all men on to So lift him, lift him higher, a little higher. From the earth to eternity, he said, If I be lifted up from the earth, I will draw all men unto me. He is the King of Kings, he is the Lord of Lords. His name is Jesus, 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 Jesus. Oh, he is the King. Amen.